Howdy, it's Matt, and in this episode is the maiden of the uh, Durafly Tundra, and I finally caved in and I bought one, and what absolute brilliant fun, I must say. So let me just put her down here for a second, and we'll have a chit chat, uh, and then we'll go on and see a maiden. So, right, she sat there okay. Right, on a scale of 1 to 10, of ease of build, we are talking like a 1. And I really mean that, a 1. To put this model together, all you need is just to stick a couple of screws in. It's really straightforward. The only tricky part of the build uh, is pushing those little... Uh, uh, on the on the uh, push rods is that you've got the roundlet holes and you've got to use a pair of pliers and maybe two pairs of pliers just to, to crimp them on. And that is like the difficult part of the build of the Tundra. Uh, the rest of it is just to stick some servo screws in and a couple of screws and that's it. Uh, it came with the servos pre-fitted. Uh, I did have a duff servo, we'll get to that in a moment. But on literally on a scale of 1 to 10, um, 1. Of ease of build straightforward uh, really straightforward to build uh, like I said just a couple of screws uh, the landing gear I did go for the anniversary edition the one the version with the bright orange and uh, just as Stuart said in the uh, release for these this orange really does pop and you're probably not seeing the full benefit uh, of it on the uh, web camera which I'm recording now uh, it really does pop. Now, to be frankly honest, I really do wish that I bought the green version because, or the original version, because I just like the green one. But not to detract from this model at all, I do kind of like it as well in the uh, grey uh, and orange. And I'm looking at it thinking, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this model. Um, now, it wasn't all plain sailing, unfortunately, for the uh, build. Uh, is that I put it together, which only took about 30 minutes. I think that's, that's it for the build, including getting the receiver in. Oh, and a massive tip for you uh, is that if you do actually finally read the manual, uh, there is a little hatch up here at the top, and you can put your receiver down in there. Who knew that's where you were supposed to stick your receiver? Uh, there was me trying to stick it in the front, and... Uh, yeah, oops a daisy. Then I took a look at the manual and then, oh, that's where the receiver goes. <laughs> hey ho. Uh, anyway, I did have a duff receiver, uh, sorry, a duff rudder servo on mine, and chances of that is one in a blue moon. I did dissect it and find there was a bit of glue holding the uh, stator uh, in the little motor on the uh, servo. Uh, which was at fault. Uh, it was a bit fiddly to replace the, the servo, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, so instead of taking half an hour, it took an hour to build it because I had a duff servo and it was really fiddly trying to get it in there. But all in all, absolutely fantastic model. I'm really glad that I got one now. Oh, and I've also been here working on the uh, FPV pod as well. I'm gonna. It may look a bit odd now, but if I put that round like so, is that that's how I'm gonna mount it with the little video transmitter up on its side. Uh, and we're going to go and do a little bit of FPV with it in the in the forthcoming week. But what a super cool little model. Um, yeah, mightily impressed. And uh, in this video, we have got her maiden. Uh, and uh, my, my, my thinking in my head for the maiden was, Matt, do not stuff it. Don't, must not stuff it, must not stuff it, must not stuff it. So with that said, let's jump across to the flight line. Uh, the only thing which I would say that I need to tweak on this model now... Uh, after coming back is that I must sort out the flaps. Uh, I've got far too much flap movement on half, half My half flap movement is almost like full flap movement uh, So she really does balloon uh, and I need to mix in a little bit of elevator in there as well uh, Oh, and I also need to put some more elevator movement in as well on the transmitter for low rates because uh, uh, I do almost stuff it as you're about to see. But do note, this was my first flight with the Tundra. Uh, so I was taking it a little bit more carefully than normal, because uh, I do kind of like the model. Uh, so yeah, with that said, let's jump across to the flight line and enjoy. So for myself, Matt, cheerios. Right, if you are working, this is the maiden of the uh, Tundra, the anniversary edition. And there she is. Cap is up nice and high. There's Sir David of Pinnock. 
taken off in a mail, right Craig? Yeah, no stress. Cutting grass, I think. Flaps off. Oh, bit of up elevator needed. She is running rather nose heavy. Free us. Tree doom! See if she balloons with the flaps. So now she's ballooning by herself. Okay, you know. Flaps. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> gotta go careful of that. Well, what I've got on mine is you can slow the servo down. Yeah, I need so to. So they actually kind of come on slowly. Yeah, I think that's what I need with mine. Tree doom! <laughs> Smash! <laughs> dunk, dunk, dunk. Land it! <laughs> the wrong direction for the wind, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hedge! <laughs> careful when you turn them off. Are you landing, are you? Or? Touch and go. Oh, whoa, 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 go. Whoa, 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 go. Don't do that on me hanging very much. Yeah. Flaps off. Flaps off. Yeah, it is actually quite far off. Is that my head? They're not even giving her all the full beans either. I have calibrated the ESC. Just shit pilot skills. Flaps half. Still got a flap stain, definitely do need a bit of down elevator with them on. Flaps full, flaps off. It's got some pace in it. Oh! oh. <laughs> 
Oh, that's close. That was indeed. I think it's probably about time to land. What do you think? Made an interesting touch of gold, though. With the nose, yeah. Yeah. Alright, landing gents. No, no special landings, brilliant. I think we're still recording. Brilliant! That was good fun, I almost stuffed it though. <laughs> Why it's stuck on Facebook was it? Must not stuff it, must not stuff it, must not stuff it. Be great. Need to sort out those flappies though. They're a um, how do we class this? Uh, wild. <laughs> so for myself, Matt, and the uh, tundra, probably should do some slow panning shots, shouldn't I? There she is, right in the thick of it, in a field full of shit. Happy days. <laughs>